The music for The Railway Children was written by Johnny Douglas and he wrote an amazing score. And what is so lovely with The Railway Children Return is there's a moment in it where they draw on Johnny Douglas's music. And it certainly caught me and, and, uh, and it does feel very nostalgic and extraordinary and, to, and you're taken right back to the, the original story. No, it's very important to know who played the old gentleman in the original film. It was William Mervyn. And um, I think Tom Courtney was talking about him the other day, actually, and, and saying that his character in The Railway Children Return is not... It is the sort of... The, it's bringing the old gentleman into this story. I wouldn't say that we were actually grounded, but we were reprimanded by Lionel Jeffries because um, Sally and I were... You know, Sally was, Sally was actually a little bit older than me, but I was just 17 and ready to adventure, and I was young, and we went out dancing one night and came back to the hotel, and I think it was close to midnight, or midnight. I don't think after, but anyway, it was late, very late. But there we found Lionel Jeffries in the hall of the hotel, looking at his watch and saying, do you realise what time it is? Um, I hope you're going to know your lines tomorrow. You better go straight to bed. And so he did. Don't ask Sally about it because she makes up a very, very extraordinary story. <laughs> I wasn't sure about that, but I, I understand that she used to have her makeup done in the carriage, which makes it much more glamorous than just being in a very ordinary makeup trailer, because the carriages were very, very beautiful. I should know what the railway station was called. I'm just trying to think. Actually, from the film, I remember, because it was Oakworth, because that's what was there. <laughs> but in the, because I've read the book, as a child and I read it later on and I just I can't bring it back but I do remember that she called the railway something like the north the great northwestern southern railway I mean she, she encompassed all of it because she didn't want it to be very specific to one place ah Meadowvale yes I suppose Meadowvale would be the next station to Wakefield <laughs> I think it's just simply hares and hounds, and he was um, one of the hounds following a hare. So the children, when they were up on the bridge, were watching, and they went, oh, yes, look, here comes the hare, and they leave a trail behind, and uh, it's just to make the boys run a long way. And, of course, Jim's lagging behind and then falls down in the tunnel and doesn't come out the other end, which we notice. I'm pretty sure it's a really neat, rather beautiful blue coat dress with a slight cape which was um, a kind of grey-blue and had black embroidery on it. It was one of my favourite outfits from that. <laughs>